Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nikki and I post what's for dinner videos every Friday. And that is what I have for you all today. And anyways, I just want to mention that recently I had hit 50 subscribers and I'm so excited about that. I know it's not much, but I'm still excited and I just want to say thank you to all of you all. It really means a lot to me. And once I hit 100, I will be doing a Get to Know Me Better Q&A. So y'all can be looking forward to that. And let's just go ahead and get to cooking. For Memorial Day, we had a cookout and we had hamburgers, baked beans, coleslaw, and potato salad, and corn on the cob. This is Tuesday night and I'm having tuna patties and I'm just chopping up the onions for that. everything together and that is three cans of drained tuna and egg equal amounts of flour and cornmeal and I'm not really sure how much I put in there I just do it until I get the consistency that I like which means that they're not sticky anymore and then I'll be adding my onion and some vegetable oil the tuna patties I'm going to be cutting up some cauliflower and putting it in the power pressure cooker and I'm doing this because the tuna patties don't really take that long to cook and the pressure cooker takes 17 minutes to heat up so I'm just going to go ahead and get this started and I'm going to be doing the cauliflower like I said and some carrots. <laughs> these tuna patties out pretty small because they do swell up and get a little bigger when you are cooking them. And while I'm patting these out, I have my grease on the stove getting hot.
barbecued burgers. I just added some barbecue sauce to the pan and the burgers that I'm using is from the cookout that we had on Memorial Day and I will also be using the sides that were left over as well. I'm just going to add the patties to the skillet and cover them with barbecue sauce and then I will cover them with the lid and let them get warm and they will be done. Thursday night I'm doing chicken and dumplings and I'm just going to boil three chicken breasts and season it with garlic powder and celery salt. Now I'm going to mix together one can of cream of chicken and one can of evaporated milk. chicken breast out now and I'm just going to cut it up into small pieces. just dumping it back in there and I saved the water that I boiled it in. I did not get rid of that. That is what I just added it back into. I've added a stick of butter and now I'm just going to pour in the cream of chicken and evaporated milk mixture. I'm just going to salt and pepper it to taste. You want this to come to a bowl and while I'm waiting on it to come to a bowl I'm going to go ahead and mix up the dough mixture for the dumplings. mixing together cold water and flour until I get a consistency to where the dough will stick and make dumplings. and I just want you to know that it's okay. Now I'm just going to be adding my dumplings and how I do that is I'm going to get a teaspoonful and just rake it off with another spoon and these got quite large so I started doing smaller ones. I started doing half a spoonful. <laughs> set for a little bit so they don't just fall apart and now I'm just going to flip them over so the top part can start cooking and I'm only going to be doing a few at a time so I don't end up with a big old large chunk of dough in my dumplings and then after I get those flipped I will start adding more and I'm going to do that until I run out of dough. After I got all of the dumplings in there and 
flipped over one time. I just let it set and boil easily for about 15 minutes just to make sure that they were all done. And that is it for this video. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.